Hello YouTube, uh, today I will be making a video on how you make an SQL generator for Trinity Core. Trinity Core is a World of Warcraft, um, a World of Warcraft core. Anyway, uh, we will start in index page and I recommend that you use this program, Atom, and you will use you will need to use XAMPP or you can download Apache separately as I did with my SQL but I'm using XAMPP because I don't know, I like that and then you will need to place your website in the htdocs folder uh, so it will be here uh, so I will start with the index page, this one and it's open here as you can see so we will start here and we will uh, oh by the way all these folders is empty as you can see I have just started by making the folders uh, so here we will type in include and we type this because that's the name of the folder here as you can see this folder and then slash head.php head.php does not exist in the folder right now but we, we will create it and then include uh, include slash uh, yeah we would use a nav bar so uh, nav.php and include we will use a body so uh, oops uh, include slash body dot php and then we'll include the foot as well includes So now we have head, nav, body and foot. So we save this and we go here and we make new files head.php and nav.php and body.php and foot.php okay uh, now in head we will start with this I'm just gonna open up here so that you can see all the files on the side uh, doc type html and then an html tag and head and in here we will link to our CSS which doesn't exist right now uh, style sheet type text CSS uh, href oops uh, slash mm, main dot CSS oops CSS slash main dot CSS okay so it looks in the CSS folder and the CSS folder is here and it's empty right now. We will make the main.css soon. So then uh, do title and type in SQL generator slash title. So this uh, title will be the name of the tab you know when you open more tabs in for example Chrome this will be the name on the tab um, so we end the head tag and we open a body tag and we close uh, or yeah we stop there uh, or should we make a header in here? No. Nope. 
we don't need header we might be adding it later uh, actually I can make a div id wrapper ok so we stop there and then we go here and now you will ally a href uh, own slash a slash ally and then we make a few so here we will type items here we will type npc and here we will type quest ok so um, then end the ul tag and end the nav tag ok now we will move on to the body and here we will have some php functions um, page equals get switch page case uh, the last uh, thing here should not be semi colon it should be normal colon um, Okay, so here we'll type in home and include pages slash home uh, dot php. Okay, and then you all always need to end a case with a break. So um, here we will use item item.php and here we will use npc and npc oops and last but not least quest Okay, uh, and I will also add this if page is uh, if the p doesn't exist, then uh, header header. Uh, location mm. yeah so it will redirect me to to home if the page doesn't exist I think that's correct now okay um. So mm, here we will end the div tag that we added in head. This div tag we will end that in foot, and then we will end the body tag, and we will end the HTML tag. Uh, I didn't end the body tag. Uh, now, okay. So we save this as it is okay so we have these files here now and now we'll add pages so we have uh, home.php mm, item.php npc.php 
and also quest.php okay now um, we'll just do this for now item page uh, npc page quest page home page okay and here we will make main.css uh, so we add for body we can add margin 0 padding 0 and background color uh, this is a very light gray color uh, okay mm, so We will type in this uh, slash YouTube and hold on. Oh, yeah, uh, I think we need to do 90 slash YouTube because I, I have changed my port. Uh, foot. Okay, I might have forgot to type in PHP. Uh, in uh, here yeah I forgot that uh, okay now it should be better yeah so this works okay so if we add to nav we're gonna go to our nav here and we will do and then here item and here and PC and here quest okay and then we refresh the page by clicking here and now you can go here item page see and PC page quest page so you have all the pages here now Okay, now we will style the uh, navbar, but we will start with the wrapper with thousand pixel uh, yeah, we just use that for now, and then oh wait. Uh, I need to add margin margin auto margin auto okay so as you can see it moves now because there is a wrapper here uh, you will see that if we do this the blue part is the wrapper okay so now we will go here and do nav with thousand pixel um, we can do high 30 pixel or something I don't know uh, nav UL margin oh uh, no that we don't need uh, yes we do actually need it um, padding oops list style none and nav dual ally float left so as you can see now it floats down like this it doesn't float on a line uh, 
so it should float from the left side to the right side uh, so now it should do that yeah it works okay and then we will add nav ul li a uh, this uh, this is a path to uh, to the a tag you don't need a path you can just do a but then if you make an uh, like a normal link uh, like a hyperlink it will also use the same style so that's why we set up the path uh, so as you can see here you have the path nav you will nav you will li and a so this is an just a normal hyperlink uh, so anyway now we'll do uh, display block padding 10 pixel 14 pixel and I just gonna do background color for now and see what it looks like um, okay so uh, color uh, white uh, text um, decoration none yeah that looks better okay uh, but we will use the background color in here so uh, we use a little bit too much more but we add we increase the height uh, 38 yeah that's better okay so here you can see now uh, this item page mpc page quest yeah so all works and if you want to change color when you hover over this and uh, you can do that you can change the background color by going here and do nav you will ally a hover background color mm, color mm, let's do six 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 and now I'm hovering over and it changes color okay now I just want to uh, use font variant small caps I like that it looks better in my opinion and you can uh, make a, a bigger space between those links uh, you just need to add a little bit more here so let's let's take this I don't know really uh, so now all you need to work with is these pages here so to make an item generator you need to go here and do uh, form action functions because that's from the functions folder here uh, slash import item dot php the file doesn't exist right now but we'll make it and then do method post and also add auto complete off okay oops slash form see so and the form tag and then uh, input type text name and try place holder uh, and try 
ID and then do select name class and here you can use option value mm, for armor slash option option value two weapon slash option slash select okay and then we need uh, for subclass select name subclass oops um, option value zero um, one and x weapon so uh, if you choose in the class if you choose weapon in the class then uh, if you choose this one with weapon it will be a 100 uh, x but if you would choose armor and choose this one it will be cloth so that's why i'm gonna do this option value using the same value zero and do no actually that's misc sorry and do armor okay option and then add oops i didn't end the option option value one two and x weapon slash option option so now we're gonna use the same value again value one and here is cloth option and slash select okay so i will just uh, use this for now uh, it's a lot more to be added but oops why i don't even know what i'm writing um, but this should give you an, an idea uh, on how to make an SQL generator so we will make the functions to insert to our database and yeah that's it so type submit uh, oops value insert okay so if we look on our site we just need to add this line break tags okay and mm, item oh yeah it's the item page here okay so here we have it um, yeah okay so I want to insert this and I, I want to insert this to my database okay mm. so then we need to make a function actually I'm gonna make a new folder and call this one config.php oops not php in the folder uh, dbconfig.php it's best to split up your code as much as possible so here you will do uh, 
host oops you gotta start with php tag so host okay and db user root db pass ascend or ascend i don't really know but that's my password and db name um, i have actually not created the database for it yet so we will open Haiti and we log in here and yeah I have a few databases uh, so we make one for YouTube YouTube okay so I will be making tape or wait I don't even know what I'm doing right now uh, I should be inserting it to my world data world database um, so it will be world I am a little bit tired right now so I don't know what I'm doing mm. MySQLi connect host db user db pass db name okay and now we'll make the function new file mm the function was I don't remember uh, item import item.php okay so here we will include uh, the config file here so wait open php tag include config slash db config dot php okay and now we will set up variables um, for uh, for this if, if, if you see here you have input type text name entry so it means that we need to do it for entry uh, the variable name could be anything it could be hello and you can oops it, it still works it doesn't matter what you type in here so you can type and try just to make it easier for you uh, mysqli real real escape string and then con con is for the tag here so you this is for the connection so here is variables uh, that stores these values and here is the connection that uses the values from the variables and here we include the variable con which is the uh, connection okay and then post and try if you see here you have form uh, and the method is post so that's why we type post here you can either use post or get but we use post okay and then do uh, class and 
here you can just do you don't need uh, MySQL I real escape string because it's from an option uh, you know the select option uh, MySQL I real escape string is just for escaping strings for example if you would use single quotes in in the name or something uh, so we actually don't need it for enter either but yeah we keep that for now to avoid errors um, oops class okay and then sub class post sub class SQL insert into uh, item template and try class subclass values and try class subclass if my SQLI query, query con SQL and um, echo successfully imported query as well so it will type in successfully imported query and then it will link the SQL query uh, with the values from this page uh, and then it will redirect you to header mm, refresh to And here we use home. Okay, so after two seconds on this uh, import item page, you'll be re redirected to home. Uh, so this is if the query runs successful. Uh, but if it not runs successful, it will go failed. And then we also want to see the error, so we will do uh, my SQLI error com, and we end that. Okay, so now all should work. Let's try. Uh, maybe it's too many numbers, I don't know. Okay, so we try this. Yeah, the connection is wrong for some reason. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I see. Uh, now it will work hopefully yeah successfully imported and now we get redirected to home so it has imported to our database now uh, in item template here and let me see Yeah, it's this one. This is the one. Because we didn't use any name, but we used two hand acts, which is class two, subclass one. And 
then all you need to do is to add more things here. For example, you can add name uh, for column name. If you see here, column name. Okay, so you add that in query there, and then you add uh, here name, and then here name mysql here you need mysql library to escape string and then con post name okay uh, but the name uh, doesn't exist in item page so we need to make it input type text name equals name um, place holder item name okay so it uses the name here in here and it will insert it to the name here okay so that's all you need to do and if you try again update the page and yeah here you have the item name so we can try uh, something like that and we do yeah let's make the one and that's an item name test item I don't know uh, oh yeah forgot one thing uh, because the item is text you need to wrap it in, uh, in uh, single quotes like this okay now it will work oops Weapon 100x and test item. So it's imported. Okay. And now we refresh here. And here you see it. Test item. So it now inserts to name. So that's all you need to do to add more columns. And you can do it for for stat types and everything uh, yeah so I hope you understand how to do it from here and you see that the URL ends with question mark p equals and the name and the name is being set up in body here so this is the names that you use in the URL and if the uh, if it says uh, question mark p equals home here it will include the home from home.php from pages folder and pages folder is here so uh, yeah that's it I'm gonna end this video now bye bye